Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of All The Mods 9 To The Skies. And last time I was talking about moving my storage area down and I have made a start on that. But I haven't done too much yet because, yeah, I need to get a few materials together. So this is where everything was originally and as you can see it's all being ripped out now. And I have this here and the plan is to have this two block gap here to run cables down. So I can have power cables down here and I can have the main branch for my ME system. And whatever else I just want to hide away it can all be up here. And then if we just come further down this water we also have this mess down here. And I have started moving my storage drawers down and I've stopped here because I want to use a few materials that I don't have yet. Not just for the build itself but I also want to change these out for the framed drawers. So if we just have a look at the drawers, most of them just come in the normal wood types. But we also have these ones here called framed drawers. And what we can do with these is basically use any material in the game to make a draw of. So I'm going to use the same materials that I'm going to use for this build. So let's go have a look at that first. And I think early on the best thing to do is use blocks that you have EMC. So you can just get an absolute ton of them and not have to worry about farming too many things. And the main things I've decided to go for are cyan terracotta and white concrete. So I've already done the cyan terracotta, I put a ton of the Zycorium gems into here and then put some cyan terracotta in and if we have a look in here, actually I'm going to get this now because this is the other thing I want to do so we're just going to grab some white concrete but if we look at the terracotta I have duplicated loads of it so I've got 1800 blocks there, that might not be enough but it's easy enough to do and I've got also got some of the normal terracotta as well just in case I want to use that for crafting and I've also piped in another cobblestone generator into here so now this is full of cobblestone i can use this for the emc as well so i just need to convert this white concrete and i only need to do one of them so if i just stick this into here and if we man that up that has emc so i can shove that into there and get a ton of that and i don't need loads of this this is just more of an accent thing so if we put that in there this will all get eaten up and turned into oh actually that's not going to work is it because yeah, alright, let's take that out. There's not enough space for the... There we go. Right, that's going in now. So I'm going to end up with loads of this, but I, I don't need an absolute ton of it, as I say. So that's the first one. The other one I need to get is Andesite. And this has EMC as well. I do want, actually want to farm this properly as well, not just use EMC. But I think we'll just go with this for now, because what I want to do with this is turn it into the Andesite casing from Create. Because this is obviously a block that you use in a lot of crafting but it looks really cool on its own as well the connected texture it's ma it mainly looks like spruce wood but has like this trimmer on the edge of it so it's really cool for building as well to build this you just need to strip a load of wood and then click an andesite along onto it which is crafted with iron nuggets and andesite so getting a ton of andesite is going to be good as well so i can stop that now and put some of that in there no 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 i want i want to take that out and i'm going to put this in a drawer somewhere even though it'll probably get moved into something else so all the compacting drawers will stay as they are. I'm not going to change those into anything else. But all the ones over here, I'm probably going to swap out. So let's just put that in there for now. And aside from the terracotta, with the EMC, I've also done a little bit more as well. So if we look at the logs in here, I yeah, I've been doing it with the spruce. So I've got plenty of spruce wood to be going on with for now. And a ton of oak as well. So this will be very handy when I'm crafting up those drawers. But there is something else I need to craft because I'm not going to use the cyan terracotta as it is. I, I will a little bit, but I also want to turn this into something else. And that is to use the stuff that has been added by Chipped. So Chipped adds a load of workbenches that we can use. And the one we need for the terracotta is the Mason's workbench. So this thing should be doable. Oh, brick. Do I not have brick? I must do. All right. We've got, we've got clay though, haven't we? So let's grab a bit of that. Oh, well, running low on clay as well. So I definitely need to sort that out. Or does this have EMC? It does. I'm taking that. Right, that's that's a lot of andesite. Let's uh, let's stop that. Right, I'll, I'll sort that out. I'll get the clay in a minute. Let's just cook this one up. Right, you go in there, and then if we just craft this thing, we now have the mason table. So with this, it's a very handy thing. I'm going to do something a little bit better with this in a minute. But if we just have a look at what it does, if we put the terracotta into there we have all these options that we can use so there's lots of little designs we can use but the one i want to go for is the cyan terracotta tile if we just shift click on it they all turn yellow and then that'll change into craft all so if we click on that that'll turn everything we've got in our inventory into these things so let's just have a look at this this is a really cool block and this is going to be like the main block that i use down below so i'm not too sure what i'm going to do up here i may turn this into more of an organic thing up here I'll probably still have this stuff in the middle. I'll have a build in the middle, but then have a lot of like, grass around the edge. So I'm going to grab all this. But 
with this thing i don't want to keep coming back to it so what we can do as well is turn it into an upgrade for the backpack let's see if we can do that uh, it's this one here i want this backpack so i just need to craft the upgrade base and i've got everything for that and then if we just do this and then go into our backpack put that into there we now have a mason table built in so we can just put let's put the terracotta into there and we can either select it to go into the backpack or into the inventory so that is going to be a very handy tool and i suppose i should just craft up and i need to get the clay sorted right so yeah we'll get all that done i'll do a some basics of this build and then we can have a look at the plan for today okay so things have been happening and i've got a start of a build here as you can see i've got all of the frame draws in and i've done these with cyan terracotta and the white concrete just like we're going to do for the rest of the build so i've got all the basics of the cyan terracotta walls in we've got the andesite casing at the bottom and you'll see we have a few gaps here and these are for the blocks that i haven't got yet so that is the next step we're going to need to set up a process for getting these things and i also have another tunnel going this way and what i want to do down here is set up a lot of resource automation so we've already got the gravel sand and dust going on up there and i might move that down here i haven't decided on that yet but we have another set of drawers with another storage controller in the middle so we can connect our a2 system into that from above and we'll probably never see this one and then around the back i also have the controller access point so this is where we can pipe everything in and these here are the back of the drawers and as you can see they just look like cyan terracotta so that is really cool and i've also just had another wandering trader appear and he was selling the bumblebee spawn egg so that could be handy for doing the bees and a sort of undying so i thought i might as well get that okay so this is the plan but before we get to this i want to get this storage build done and get a few more resources going but actually the first plan is i want to get rid of this glowstone get the lighting around the edges that i want to do but first here i want an elevator i'm sick of going up and down this water so i want to get an elevator and for that i have some glowstone in my hand and if you remember this setup over here where i was piping the lava in and we had water on top i'll swap that out now because what i want to do is put glowstone into this lava and that should turn into endstone so if i just put that in there that going to work right that's not piping out why is that not piping out oh because i'll lock that draw that's why so forget get here where that go okay so grab that and put that in there we should start getting it done anyway we, leave, we can leave this for a bit but i just need a little bit but if we just get this and we hammer it we'll get crushed end stone and with this i can just put it into the gravel one because i'm not actually using this one at the minute oh i am but i've taken all the upgrades out so it's going very very slowly so actually no let's do it in the one that's going fast so let's let's put it into there so i've got all the dust coming into here and that should have just done that did it it did it but nothing happened and i've I haven't got anywhere for that to go yet so it shouldn't do anything right if we put that through a diamond sieve we should get ender pearls chorus fruit eyes of ender and chorus flowers and the ender pearls is the one that i'm really after because i want to get these elevators in so i can go up and down here now if you look in here as well this is where all my ore goes from the sieve and the gravel and as you can see we don't have a lot in there i've moved most of it into here but there was absolute tons of this this chest was full and that one as well so i've been fortuning all this and cooking it up so we're, we're doing all right for ours now and i don't really need one ender pearl because these are emcable so let's hope hopefully we can just get one that's all i need and i can stop doing this I suppose the other thing I could do while I'm waiting for that in stone is put the moss through because the moss is also EMCable. So I've done an absolute ton of this. So if we put these in here, we can get the other sapling types. So I'll stick that in there. Oh, there we go. Got the mineral so we can do some integrated dynamics. Yeah, this is good. Definitely need to set up some drawers for this as well because, yep, that's going to fill up that. But let's, uh, let's see how the end stone's doing. Yes, it's not a massive amount. As I say though, I only need one, so just let's just do it. Okay, come on. Nothing again from those. That's terrible. Tell you what, let's just wait till we've got a ton of that in so and then we can put a load through at the same time. So that's getting frustrating. Right, next thing I want to do is to get some blaze rods. And this I hope should be fairly easy. So if we look at the quest, and I believe it's in getting started too. Am I wrong though? I think, is it in Silent Gear? Is there a separate one? Yeah, so in the Silent Gear one, what we're aiming for is the sword blueprint. And this will give us Blaze Rod as a reward, and that has the MC on it, so we can duplicate those. So let's start with this, and hopefully it should be fairly straightforward. So template boards and a pickaxe template. That should be fairly easy. So these flint and any log, no problem. Then the pickaxe. Okay, that's that done. All right. 
Oh no, sorry, I need to do the pickaxe pick head part as well. So let's just take some iron. That, and it was three, wasn't it? Grab that. Okay, that's that done. Then we need to do the sound gear pickaxe. And uh, to do that, we just need to do the tool rod with the part that we've already done. So we just need to get the tool rod template. And we might as well do it with the wooden ones. So let's just do that one. Let's have that. And if we just put that and that together, that works, doesn't it? There we go. Right, so that's that one done. And next, the blueprint paper. And this is just blue dye and paper. No problem. Okay, so grab that. And next, we just need to make the sword blueprint. So that's just two of those and stick. That's this one here, isn't it? Okay, let's take that. Oh, I need to wait for those. Right, okay, I haven't got that yet. Okay. So, take that. And finally, take that. Right, that's that done. Nice and easy. Okay, so we've got that. No, oh, I just lost that. Why did I do that? Right, I can't do that again. I can't believe I just did that. The rain reflects my mood. Right, I'm so annoyed with myself, I'm actually doing it the proper way. So I've gone through this and found the metal press, which is what I need to do with the blaze rods properly. So I'm just going to build this. So we have the redstone engineering block in the middle and steel scaffolding on the side. And I believe I have a piston facing down. A heavy engineering block on top. And then the conveyor belts on top of that. Now, I've done this right. If I just give this a tap, there we go. Right, so I've got that going, and I've got the blaze powder, and I also need to power this as well, do I? But I also need this thing, the metal press mold. So it sh should be able to. Oh, it's a bit of a process, this, isn't it? When I had one in my hand and I just wasted it. All oh, right, okay, right. I've got the wall. This. Oh, no, it's the treated wood as well, isn't it? Right, all right. Tell you what, we'll come back to this. I'm just going to get these ender pearls going, and get. Yeah, I am not going to give up. Right, so I went through quite a lot of that and didn't get anything for ages and I was getting a bit worried, but then on, I believe, the last stack, got two stacks of enderpearls, so I'll take those. And, yeah, let, let's put it in there gently so we do these properly. And get some of these gems. Oh, look at all these, got a ridiculous amount of these. And stick those in there and get a ton of enderpearls. Okay, right, done something right. And while we're at it, let's go put these in the drawer. I've got most of my mob drops over here, but yeah, that'll do. Let's pull that in there. Okay, so let's grab these, and we'll now do the thing that I actually wanted them for. So we'll grab two elevators, and then it's going to be right here. Now this is not the ideal spot, because I do actually want to use this bedrock for something at some point, but I'm just going to put it here, because I really want to get rid of this water. And then that there, and now we can just go up and down like that. Excellent. Right, I need to set up a coke oven die, so... Let's see if we can do these coke bricks. What is it? All right, so it's bricks. Yeah, we can do that. And sandstone. That should be all right. I've got any sand? Not a lot. But let's just uh, turn all that into that. Grab a couple of stacks of clay balls. Put those in there. I still can't believe I did that with a blaze rod. Right, so coke bricks. I believe I need 27 of these. And I'm one brick short, thanks. Okay, so we're going to set this up. This is, again, a very temporary thing, but we need some coal as well, don't we? So let's have that. And, yeah, let's just put it over here somewhere. And we'll go... Two, three, two, three. And engineer's hammer. Slap that. And if we put the coal into there, that'll turn into the coal coke and the byproducts we want is the creosote oil and that's how we make the treated wood so rushing through a mess of engineering but i'm sure you've seen this before right so the next thing i want in the storage room is some refined glowstone blocks and to craft those we need to craft a machine from mechanism called the osmium compressor this thing here now it's all right i've got pretty much everything i just need to do a steel casing oh look at that something is going right for a change right let's put this down uh, we'll just stick that on there that's charged. Now, do I have any speed upgrades? Because that would be very handy. Got a couple of energy ones and a couple of speed. That's better than nothing, I suppose. So let's put speed into there and energy. Okay, right. So I need some osmium. 
And this is like a bit like the Mesler's Confuser, but this is in you put Osmium into there in the second input and it'll turn whatever you put into the top into the mechanism version. So the main things we do is refine glowstone and refine obsidian. So we just look at the recipe for the glowstone. What we want is this block here. And so that you need to craft the ingots first and you do that by just putting glowstone dust into this machine with osmium. Nice. So we have plenty of glowstone, so that's all right. And I'm gonna need quite a lot of this, but I'll just, yeah, we're gonna need the upgrades, are we? Let, let's see if we can do that. Actually, I've still got my shortcut, haven't I? Right, we're gonna need the upgrades, so let's see if we can do a few of these. Let's do speed first. So it was six, wasn't it? All right. We'll put those in there. And the energy upgrades. No gold, no way. Let's have that. Okay, we'll try that again. And no glass. Okay, that'll do us for now. Right, so if we craft these into the blocks, we're gonna get four. Let's just go put these down and see what they look like. I'm gonna need quite a few more of these, but actually, I've got an elevator. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna forget that I've got this here. Okay, so I'm gonna take these ones out, and these are gonna go in these spots that I've left here. It might be a bit much having them this many of them, but I quite like them, so we're gonna go with it. Take these out, and this bit in the middle is going to be the blocks that the same blocks that are on the edge. Now I did have two options for it. One was the oh, I can't what it's called. Is it Kivi? This one. It's from Zycraft, and this is one of the blocks I want to automate today once we get into the automation stuff. But the other was the core blocks, but using the chips version of it, which you, you need the alchemy bench for. And you're not going to believe this, but to craft this, I need a brewing stand, which means I need a blaze rod. Right, so after that, we now have four and a half buckets of grease oil. So hopefully that should be enough, because I don't need loads. Let's try and craft this here as well. So I've got a few buckets, so let's just grab a few of these. Okay, that's everything. So now we've put this in here with some oak planks. We should get the treated wood planks. And we'll just grab everything we've got. And I think this should be more than enough, actually. We just need a few slabs, I think one fence. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So we'll leave those there and hopefully this should be everything we need to craft this up. So probably shouldn't waste this, but I'm just going to try and do this from memory. No, I'm not. Let, let's not be silly. So it was the engineer's workbench, wasn't it? This thing here. So right, this first. So we can do these. Right, step one done. And then the workbench, we just need a fence. No, two more of them. So fence. And then the engineer's workbench. Okay, right. We might be getting somewhere now. Let's put that there. And we need the engineer's blueprint for molds. So can we do that one? Blue dye should be should have plenty of that. I know I've got tons of sugar cane, so we can do that as well. Okay, right, so that's, now the rest of it, I believe, should be fairly straightforward. So I want this one, so three steel plate and the wire cutters. Okay, let's have you, and then the wire cutters. This is fun, isn't it? So that's the one I want. Okay, so now, if I grab some blaze powder and some pipes, I should be able to do this. I don't think I need to use the immersive engineering wires to do this, so let's just stick that on there. Somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so let's stick that. There, there we go. And if we just, I think you can just, do you click these on or throw them? There we go, that's going through, and that should be a blaze rod. Oh, right. Now we've got this. This is very precious. So I'm going to take that over there. Get rid of that. Let's get some gems. And we'll pull that there. And then pull those in. And we now have blaze rods. But at least we did it the proper way. That's what counts, isn't it? I wasn't silly. At all. And you know what? I think this chest is getting a bit silly now, isn't it? So I'm not upgrading to a control yet, but I do have enough channels because I, oh, I forgot to explain this as well. I was a bit silly with this last, last time. What I did with this is put an import bus straight onto here and then the cable going straight in. 
so that meant that i was using seven channels on here but this here now is two channels but on a sub network so what i've done there is i've got a storage bus on the pattern provider and an import bus there so basically this is just a pipe in fact you could use a pipe instead but this is more like the a2 purist way of doing it so then from here we have a cable coming around the back and then the quartz fiber connects the power to this so you can use it as a cable but it doesn't connect the channel so this is now a separate sub network so that means i've freed up one channel on the main network so i can now put another drive down so let's grab that well i can put my first drive down actually and yeah this is not the prettiest setup still it's not the prettiest setup so we'll just put that there and then we'll get the don't know which ones i'm going to do i should probably get some auto crafting set up but i don't have that many channels so let's just see how many of these i can get so let's just go with 12 because i now I can put 10 in there. Yeah, put 10 in there. So let's let's just craft those. I'll just stick with the 1Ks now as well. I, I prefer to have lots of the smaller ones rather than just a few of the big ones. So these ones won't. I probably don't have enough of the coarse glass. But let's just stick that in there and get a few of the right, three. So I need more coarse glass. That's all right. So put those in there. And now we can actually start using A2 properly. Right, so the priority of this is zero. So we'll leave that like that. This is minus 100. And that one down there is a thousand so that means anything i put in now should go onto the drives and now we can just start clicking things into here now anything that's in the drawers will go there first obviously and actually let's craft up some more quartz glass no don't have any glass tonight all right tell you what let's just put all this away properly first okay so that is all those so i can stick those everything in there and now i can actually free up a channel again i'll take my axe get rid of that and if i break that it's gonna break the cable isn't it but put that back on there so now we're back down six channels this is fine we don't need a controller all right so let's just do this janky way get rid of that build us some sand and we'll get some glass definitely need to get all the basics automated as well do i okay so let's get these crafted up and can't do all those now oh what was that didn't want that whatever right so i can pull well i can put all but two of them in here that's all right and we'll save those for later you never know right that's feeling better so how much space we're using there i've only gone on to two discs that's absolutely fine all right so now we can craft the alchemy bench i believe so first things first we need a brewing stand and then we also need an enchanting table all my obsidian still down there i haven't got that in the main system yet so i'll just grab a couple of stacks of this I can, actually i can put this in some in the drawers downstairs guy so do we need a big yeah let's put it in there okay so i'll have one of those and then finally can we do this now alchemy bench nice right i can probably turn this into the that as well why not let's do it so i'll have that first and then that now if i stick that into there i can now do that right okay Right, I don't have an absolute ton of coal because I'm not sieving gravel at a very fast rate at the minute. But what we can do now in the alchemy bench, we I want the mini tiles. That's it. So let's grab those and get another stack. These are gonna be the ones that go around the middle here, and this basically looks like the texture for dark prismarine, and I like that a lot. So we'll just stick this around the edge as well and see how this looks. Actually, what am I doing? Let's where's my wand? So if you put it in your offhand, you can do a full row of these just like that. That is not what I wanted, is it? That was going so well. I can, yeah, let's go. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to use a little bit of this on the ceiling as well. But that is the basic look of this. So I think what I'll do now is I'll, I'll get the rest of this storage room finished off. I'm just going to do a bit of a fancy ceiling. Man of setbacks, but we're getting there now. Right, so I've been a bit of progress, but I've just had another wandering trader spawn. And one of the things I was going to do to finish the episode off was to get some ice automated. But as he's selling this, I think I'm just going to buy this and then we can do the ice next time. And what else? We've got Nautilus shells. Why not? Take a few of those. And the rest of it, don't think so. But that'll do. Right, anyway, let's go have a look at what I've done in the storage room. So, this is what I went for. And I've used the frame slopes and used the sign terracotta on top of that as well. And I think that looks pretty good. And um, up here, we've got the white concrete slabs, which I'm very happy about. And then we've just used the coal tiles up there as well. And I think that looks pretty good. And through here, 
The plan for the rest of this episode was to do something in here, but I think this is going to take a bit more thought. So rather than doing that, I've been procrastinating and doing a few bits upstairs. Yeah, the AE2 system, I've moved that around completely. And I was using seven channels before, and now I'm only using five. And I don't have less things on here, I've just moved all of the storage onto a separate subnetwork. So if we just look down here, I have a dense cable going all the way down the middle and this is obviously future proofing once i get a controller set up this will be very useful but for now i'm only using three channels on it for storage so we've got our me drive there and we have also two storage buses so the one on our main storage here and the second set of storage rods i've got over there i've also got a storage bus on that as well and then the fourth thing on this sub network is this me interface here and what this basically does is expose this whole network so it can be read by another one up there so if you just have a look at that i've got this me interface here and then on this network i've got a storage bus that looks at that and that basically sees that whole network down there as one big chest so i can still access everything from up here now i can't put anything else but storage on that network down there but it also means that i have three channels up here to get on with some auto crafting or maybe add a couple more export buses or something like that so after i got that done i wanted to fix the power situation with this because all of this was running off these wind generators which i do need to fix but it does keep up with the a2 system it just had trouble with this obviously because this uses a ton of power so i've rewired this so it comes from the magmators and i've also upgraded these as well so these are the blazing energy cables now and i've also added two more of the energizing rods and upgraded all four of them to blazing as well so this does go quite fast now if we just have a look at this i've also changed the recipe for this as well into the blaze rod version as yeah i've got blaze rods now and that was an easy thing to do wasn't it so let's just do a few of these so these go in here and they go really quickly and it's not using the power from this so that's very good i could probably also start using this for the, the next level now which is the niotic and yep yeah, got a few blaze rods going on in there because this is how you do it you put it in there not in there the last thing i have just done is move this around a little bit before I had everything going in as normal cobblestone and yeah it's definitely better to do it by the two times so i've got some compacting drawers above the cobble gen i did have this all piping in before but each one of these now has their own diamond cobble gen and then we've got a compacting drawer above there so it goes up to two times cobblestone and then that goes into there and it can crush that and it keeps it as two times gravel rather than splitting it out into the normal ones so that is a very efficient way of doing it. And I've also taken out all the speed upgrades out of this because this was using 600 FE and I think I've got what five of them running. So that's 3000 FE per tick I was using just doing these. And now they're using next to nothing. Hardly, well, they're not running at the minute because they're all backed up. But yeah, this is 6 FE per tick and that is the max to do. So I'm just using 30 FE per tick to get down to the sand level. And then on this one, I've got that going into here. And this is the max. So this is using 2048 on its own. And this is really can't keep up but at the minute i'm manually putting soul sand through here although that is done now so let, we can put that back so yeah i've got these running that's going at the maximum as well and i've got these at two so these are using thousand fe each and these are using two thousand each so i'm generating about eight thousand fe per tick from these magmators but i'm going to upgrade these to the next level hopefully the cobble will be able to keep up but power wise we're not doing too bad i just can't run everything at the max speed I did want to get on with saving the crushed deep slate, endstone and netherrack, but yeah, I've, I've had a few setbacks and I really want to get that storage building done. But I think we'll get on with that next time. Made some good progress today. Few silly mistakes, but we don't need to talk about that, do we? So if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.